Nicole Chamberlain is my guest today on In the Food section on Wine Region News Radio. This is your host, Lynn Deal. Andrew isn't here today, but I know that Andrew would wade into this with me, Nicole. If a lot of competitions where you have hundreds of wines that people are tasting, um, it's bound to affect someone over the long haul. Are these palate cleansing waters probably essential to a wine professional's experience. I would definitely say so. Um, We've actually donated product or placed product into professional wine tasting competitions, um, as well as, you know, liquor competitions, um, even um, food competitions. Uh, My, our, our, one of our business partners, Leilani Carrara, she covers West Coast sales and distribution for us. She was up in Sacramento while we were at Hospice Daron, and um, she was at an event called Chef Challenge. And so it was all about the chefs cooking the food and all the judges who were, um, you know, judging all that food were using Santosti. So it's, it's more, it's, it's, uh, for more than just wine, it's great with food too. And, um, I think judges really see the value in a product that helps them better, um, judge what they're, you know, what's in front of them. I used them last year at um, the clam festival, Mm -hmm. judging when you have enough clam chowder in front of you eventually you need to wash some of it out and Mm -hmm. what was interesting that um at one point someone had said what is that and i said i believe it's cardamom and how did you i said (laughs) i believe that would be the santasi (laughs) i sound like i'm the walking endorsement i have i've taken no money from nicole and andrew i've just known them for a couple of three years now and i've used the product a lot and and i'm i'm bringing it out to you the consumer um, and also the winemaker who might be listening, the grower, because there's probably a place for it in your tasting room and also in your picnic basket when you're going to wine taste. Nicole, let's go back to um, palate cleansing water, mm-hmm. and it's in a glass. Yes, glass, um, 12-ounce bottle currently. Um, has a resealable cap, which is nice. So if you are bringing it around for wine tasting or you just want to use half a bottle, you can reseal it and save it for later. You know, it's big companies who produce beverages. And Mm -hmm. here it was you and Andrew right out of Cal Poly. What kind of journey has it been in three years? An amazing one. Um, One that I would, I wouldn't give up for anything. Um, You know, coming coming out of Cal Poly, um, recent graduates starting a business, there's obviously challenges to that because people look at you when you're trying to sell them, sell them something. And they say, what? I mean, what is this young kid doing trying to sell me some product? I mean, what? what is this? And the great thing is, once you get them to try it, just like you said, you know, you can instantly know that it works. You can instantly feel it working in your mouth. And that's what it really took for us is to um, put ourselves out there. And, you know, of course you deal with rejections, um, for any type of product and cold calling on people, um, you know, but you, but you learn from it and you learn how to better sell the product and how to better talk about it. And um, once people do try it, you know, they, they see it works and they're loyal fans. Are there any changes to the packaging that we should know about coming up? Yeah. Uh, this that you want to share? <laughs> yes, of course. Um, this summer we're going to be launching a brand new packaging. Um, we're going to be starting to launch the 750 bottle, so 750 milliliter bottle, um, one that you typically see in a restaurant when you're ordering water. Um, we've had a lot of requests uh, for a bigger bottle, um, not only from our tasting rooms who are using um, using it as a selling tool and they're pouring samples for their customers, but also um, consumers who want to bring it home for wine dinner parties and that kind of thing. And then into our new market that we're getting into is restaurants. And um, restaurants, you know, they need the 750 um, milliliter bottle. It's uh, kind of crucial for, you know, their logistics and implementation. And um, the great thing about the new packaging, too, is a much sleeker bottle. Um, and it has a, a really cool uh, thermochromatic ink, which means it's a color-changing ink. So when the bottle's chilled, it turns blue. It's pretty pretty nifty. <laughs> I love that. Any flavors associated with this? You had a cucumber. Yes. Um, we're currently sold out, unfortunately. It was so popular. But we do have a cucumber flavor of Santosti. Um, our classic is the first one we made, and that's our flavorless version. Um, tastes just like a sparkling water. And then the cucumber has the same exact palate cleansing formula. It just has a natural cucumber extract added. Would you have a recommendation? I mean, should I take the cucumber with me if I'm wine tasting? I've always taken the one that's completely neutral. Yes. um, You know, when I go wine tasting, I usually take the neutral classic version. Um, Some people prefer the cucumber. It especially helps with adaptation. Um, Adaptation is, you know, when, for instance, let's say someone comes in the room and they have a perfume on. You smell it at first, and then after a while, you don't smell it anymore. Um, so introducing a brand new type of flavor like a cucumber when you're wine tasting um, would help with that. And some people just like the taste of it better. 
Um, but in general, I would recommend if you're seriously wine tasting, go with the classic. But if you're enjoying um, a nice multi-course meal with tons of wines, you might want to go with a cucumber. Or if you're just, you know, lounging around on a hot day and you want something refreshing, I'd go with a cucumber. Nicole Chamberlain, thank you so much for being here today. We'll invite you back with Andrew next time when he's feeling a little less under the weather. You go to so many events and meet so many people. It's normal this time of the year to have just a little bit of a cold. Nicole, thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having us, Lynn. And don't forget, look for it online, Santosti. Look at look for it um, at winemakers, dinners, in the tasting room. Um, seek it out. Take it along with you on your next big wine tasting adventure. Because trust me, you will experience the difference. You'll be amazed. You've been listening to In the Food Section on Wine Region News Radio. Thanks for listening, and don't forget, tune in next week. Wine Region News Radio is produced by Lynn Deal Media, providing quality profiles and exceptional news features about wine, food, and lifestyle on California's Central Coast. Make sure to watch Wine Region News Weekend TV each Sunday at 5 p.m. on KCOY CBS 12. It's like taking a wine country vacation without ever leaving your couch. Keep up to date with the latest videos and news at WineRegionNews.com and look for Lynn Deal's weekly blog post at Crush925.com. The Crush 92.5, the perfect blend.